we have a ton of strawberries in our fridge, so I thought it was time to make a strawberry crisp. Um, so I thought I'd show you all how to make it. And uh, using our Micro Pro Grill, it gets done in like five minutes, whereas a typical strawberry crisp takes about 30 to 35 minutes to bake in the oven. So this is a nice recipe and a simple and fast way to get dessert on the table. And especially if you have like unexpected guests coming over, you can quickly whip this up, get their coffee ready, and you have a nice dessert on the table in a matter of minutes. Now that we have all of our strawberries chopped and ready to go, what you're gonna do is add a little bit of flour. Um, I don't want my strawberry crisp to be runny, so I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of flour to help uh, solve that issue. Just put it over top of your strawberries like that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white sugar. just until it's all evenly coated. It should look like that. Okay, so now we're just gonna put all of our strawberries into the Micro Pro Grill. You're gonna take your lid and you're gonna place it on the casserole setting so it sits like this. Um, if you want to grill something, you put it the other way, like you can grill chicken, corn the cob, uh, salmon, anything. But for, for this recipe, you're gonna put it on the casserole setting. So we're just gonna place them evenly in here. And this is about two, three cups of strawberries. And then just spread it out to cover the bottom like that. And then I like to add my summer berry because it adds a lot of flavor. Just sprinkle it a little bit on the top. And then you have your filling. Okay, so I actually will add um, some maple syrup for the filling as well. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit on the top like this. And then I'll add a little bit of vanilla as well just to give it some extra flavor. Um, you can also add lemon zest as well. The, it will not taste like lemon. Um, actually, it'll just enhance the flavor. Lemon does a great job of doing that. So if you wanna enhance the flavor of your strawberries, add a little lemon zest to it and it's gonna taste just wonderful. Okay, so now that we have the filling uh, complete, to make the topping, you're gonna need about three quarter cup of flour and then about a quarter cup of coconut oil. You can also add butter or margarine. This is the coconut oil I use. It is so, so delicious. Um, and then you're gonna add a dash of cinnamon to taste. Like that. And your brown sugar, about a quarter cup as well. And I'm almost out of brown sugar, so I'll just use the rest. step is adding your rolled oats and I have large large flakes because I really like the large crumble on the top and then um, and then all you're gonna do is just mix it together it's even 
And you can also use this recipe for any type of fruit that you would like. So blueberries, you can add peaches, apples. Um, you can even use canned, canned or jarred fruit if you're in a desperate situation and that's all you have. So it's a great recipe because it's really, really versatile and you can also um, add the ingredients that you like to uh, cater to what you enjoy. So and then you're just gonna pour it on the top. said before you're gonna put it on the casserole setting and then all you need to do is pop it in the microwave for five minutes um, take it out check it if you need to add an extra minute please do and then you should have dessert on the table in no time so I will come back and I'll show you what it looks like okay, so now my strawberry crisp is done and here's what it looks like and it smells delicious you guys so strawberry crisp pairs really well with a scoop of ice cream so I'm just gonna Take a scoop, place it in our bowl. Top it off with a little bit of strawberries. Like that. And there you go. You have a delicious dessert ready on the table, um, and your guests will be super pleased to enjoy the dessert. So enjoy. Um, thanks for watching and have a little fun today.